This episode is all about option out my Cayman T and I'm stand up to the second floor where you specify your car at Porsche Center Danderyd. Let's start with the colors. I was actually thinking to get a brighter color to my driver's car specification or should I say the tool for the art of driving. But the Miami blue and the orange was two colors that hmm, didn't fit it in this case because I am actually gonna you know, stripe my car with a personal, well it's not personal but I'm gonna make it more driver focused look-alike and therefore I actually ended up in two colors that I could select from one was the yellow one and one was the white one and you know the yellow one I kind of start to like the yellow more and more regardless what Nick Murray says this is absolutely not his favorite color but in the end when I looked at my different ideas on how to stripe the car then the white was the one that I selected. White it is, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, white is always white. With the Cayman Tia, you have two choices of wheel designs. One is the Carrera S and Sport. And for me, it was quite simple. I wanted to know which one was the lightest. These wheels compared to the S wheels are so much as 7.6 kilo heavier on all four wheels. And that's the unsprung weight we are talking about. Therefore, my selection was the standard Carrera S wheels. Interior, not an easy task for me. I love the leather. I mean, it is spectacular material. But I think a Porsche without leather interior is a more symbol of a driver's focused car. And that's the look I would like to have. Plain, simple. That's where I am in my thoughts. But oh, I like the touch and feel. Not easy. There is another thing also. And if you add interior package or leather interior, you will get this aluminum stripe around the speaker and on the T model we don't have aluminium anywhere else so mm, don't like it I decided to stand with a standard interior and uh, it was not an easy selection for me it should be mandatory and I'm not sure why we have any other option on any T models it should just be the 918 bucket seats I can go 400,000 kilometers in those bucket seats. That's what you need to select. Otherwise, take a look at the base model. Another difficult option that I argue a lot, and my friend U1 was very much involved, was the sport design package. I didn't want the black one because that would be too close to the GTS models, but I was looking a lot at the standard giving me this white wings uh, kind of distinctive look of the uh, Cayman but uh, in the end of the day I deselected it again because I don't want to distract I think in the end I thought this is uh, the standard is a more cleaner look and uh, well what can I say I like when it is a uh, you know not too much happening in design perhaps that's what they call Nordic design but one other thing that I would actually recommend is the exterior package painted because you could actually then select a color and what happens is that this uh, rear air intake and some details in in the back will be painted at the color that you select and um, just play with it. If you select the Agatha Grey on the mirror and put that Agatha Grey on these details, I think that will look astonishing. In my case, I only added for the rear uh, air intake painted. 
the Cayman tea, just like the Carrera tea, comes with decorative logotypes on the side of the door. Since I'm going to stripe my car, I'm going to delete this option. Chassis. You know, if you have selected a model in the Porsche range and, and you are a driver-focused buyer, then when the lists are short in transmission and chassis, then you know that you are in the right place. The only thing you can option out on the Caimantia is the power steering plus the ceramic brakes, the extra fuel tank of 64 liters that we have in Europe and the PDK gearbox. From the top, PDK gearbox is like oh, messing with me. Remove that choice from the list. It adds 30 kilos to the car and if you would like to have the PDK gearbox then select another car that does not have the spectacular short shift inside. Actually I think they have only lowered the gear lever but it doesn't matter. That small changes transform the car to you know as close as you get to my old GT3. Ooh, a lot of excitement there ladies and gentlemen. And then we have the fuel tank and I was like oh should I get it or not adding those kilos is that right and wrong? I actually did but oh, I'm still not sure if I should bring some Jeep uh, extra fuel tanks with me instead to the track days when I need the extra fuel. Anyway the PCCB brakes I mean I want a driver focused car then I realized that I'm going to save 2.5 kilos if I add the PCCB brakes. And I'm going to get yellow calipers. And it cost about 8,000 euros. Mm, I think that is quite expensive per kilo. And remember, I have said it before when I drove the Boxster on the racetrack in Yellow Rosen, I have never any complaints about the brakes. The Power Steering Plus is something that you can add to your car when you have bought it. Lights. Well, first of all, I'm thinking, not sure, but this car will only be driven during the summer month. And in Sweden, we never get dark on the summer. Well, it gets a bit darker, but never dark. So um, this is all about design and uh, I actually think the uh, dynamic light system plus looks very great on the Cayman adding about three kilos as well but mm, uh, one problem for me though and I'm gonna let you in on a detail in my striping the headlights will be yellow and the top will have a solid stripe in black and these lights needs the cameras etc to operate therefore this was not an option in this specification for me comfort and assistance system is all about this adding the pcm system to your car adds 5.5 kilos that's nothing you would like to do in a driver's car Therefore, most of the assistance system is not a chance to add. And I'm not sure why you would, if you would like to have a driver's car that are operated by a computer. Nevertheless, these are options that are not available for me in the specification. But for the sake of my driving license, I will add a cruise control to keep the speed limits when I'm transporting myself to a track interior well here I have some things that I would like to add let me show you one thing follow two zones climate control that add 400 grams that's uh, you know an air scoop from TVR carbon that fits on the sides two zones climate control is then an easy choice to make even though I add the 400 grams Smoker package is something that I added. It's, it's a lid from the look of it. It's just a lid that we add, but also 12 volts behind the gear lever that I will come back to in another episode. 
Then I added the fire extinguisher for the same reason I deselected the deviated stitching to get that racing feel and that is also a weight I can remove from the car if I would like to. Then, you know, to get even more sportier look and feel, I added the sport pedals and the footrest. And finally, well, I did add some color by adding the red uh, seat belts in the front. Leather interior. Yes, I'm going to add something here, and that is the floor mats. It's, well, the edges are in leather, and that is in a Porsche exclusive option because now we're going to entering the specification that I've been wanting to do for so long the Porsche exclusive department. Floor mats or not, but this is my entrance to the Porsche exclusive. This is what I've been waiting for to specify and create my dream look and feel of the car well, for so long. And we are entering, we are going to design my car now as I want it. Yes? Janko, I got some news for you. Please tell me. The Porsche exclusive manufacturer is closed. Why? They are moving the factory to Osnabrück. Until then, they are closed. What do we do now? Osnabrück? How, who's going to fix my car? Is this for real? S s just uh, so I understand. For I, I got the chance to specify the car, but then you shut down the facilities in Germany, so I can't specify my car. You will not be able to specify according to your wish at but we at Dandre will help you. Well then, as a consequence, I will not be able to show you the entire specification of my car. Porsche Center Dandre will actually help me trying to do the exclusive option with local, local knowledge in the facilities. Therefore, when I pick up my car, I'm going to start to do a few modifications that you actually could have been done in the exclusive department if the factory wasn't moved to Osnabrück. My Cayman T is specified, so for me it's just a couple of months waiting until delivery.